Well, yeah, this is a George Dennis Overdrive Wawa, which I had laying around for a long time and it needed some repair. As I always said, visual inspection is all. And before you do anything, just have a look and then even somebody who knows hardly anything about electronics can solve some stuff. It's now been replaced, but this small resistor was burned out and that was like very clear from the start. So all I did was replace that resistor. Now this isn't so simple because um, we have PCB mounted jacks and even if you disconnect everything, the DC jack here and the pots, you can only tilt the board like 30 degrees. Luckily this was just exactly enough to re to get to the solar pads of this 100 ohm resistor. Uh, sorry, 10 ohm, 10 ohm resistor. Now there's no schematics available for this unit on the internet and uh, the company George Dennis is not doing so well. You can email them, sometimes they tend to send out schematics um but i don't know i didn't do this this for this unit uh, i had a look at another schematic which showed uh, similar switching this is not true bypass this is using a uh, switching circuit which is a uh, i believe uh, situated right here and when the effect was turned on the the led didn't didn't glow so this sort of gave me an indication that it was something to do with the switching and the power to the LED. After replacing this, uh, it's doing okay. It's got some um, external controls, which is always a yeah, dangerous thing to do with a Wawa, which sees some foot action and you always tend to step on these knobs. Um, but I still need to clean them out, but they are doing fine. And uh, the pedal is working again. <laughs> Thank you. 